Hi, my name is Mel and I'm part of the support team at Papercard Software. You've probably heard the news by now that Google is deprecating Google Cloud Print at the end of 2020. If your school or organization is currently using Google Cloud Print for printing via Chromebooks and other devices, you want to replace this with an alternative solution soon. Papercut's Mobility Print is a replacement for Google Cloud Print and not only enables printing from Chromebooks, but also from iOS, macOS, Windows and Android devices. I'm here to show you how easy and quick it is to set up printing with Papercut's Mobility Print and how you too can make the switch over from Google Cloud Print. To get started, head over to papercut.com and download the Papercut Mobility Print server installer. This server component should be installed on any computer that already has printers installed. Essentially the same place you would have installed the Google Cloud Print connector in the past. If you want to track or control printing with Papercut NG or MF, the Papercut Mobility Print server installer should be installed in the same location as your Papercut Print server. Check out the Mobility Print webpage where we have a comparison table to see which product is right for you. Now I'm going to download the Papercut Mobility Print server installer. And just below, we show our Mobility Print resources and the FAQ. You can see here that we support Windows, macOS, and Linux server install. On my computer, I've got my printers installed. I'll just go ahead and run the installer. I'll speed things up here, but hang tight. Yours will be complete before you know it. Once installed, I'll set up an admin password, enter the name of my organization, and sign up to be kept updated with important product news. This is a local admin account that won't be used anywhere else. It's only for logging into your Papercut Mobility Print environment. If you're running Mobility Print with Papercut NG or MF, then you won't be prompted to create a new account. You will log in with your existing account. Once you log into the Mobility Print admin console, you'll be able to select the printers you wish to publish to your end users. By default, printers are discovered automatically. Now we will select the Discovery Options button. By default, the MDNS Discovery option is selected. This is a good option if you have one subnet and a small network. If you have multiple subnets and a decent sized network, it's worth checking out the DNS Discovery option or known host. If you'd like some guidance on which printer discovery option to use, check out the link here. While I'm here, it's worth showing you there's a lot of great content in the Mobility Print Help Center. Check it out if you'd like to learn more. In this video, we'll use the MDNS Discovery option. For managed Chromebooks, there is a guide to follow to set this up in the G Suite Admin Console. At the bottom of the page, you'll see there is a link that shows the end users how to print from various devices. The system administrator can provide this link out to the end users. In this example, I've got a Chromebook that I'll use. This looks a little bit different depending on your printer discovery method your system administrator chooses. Click to install the Mobility Print app from the Chrome store. If you're using Papercut NG or MF with Mobility Print, users will get a one-off prompt to enter the username and password just before printing. Now I'm going to print. Why not have a go and swap over to Papercut Mobility Print for your Google Cloud Print replacement today.